film photography world is all a Twitter about the new Leica M6 that was just announced, and I got an opinion about that. While I'm all for Leica reintroducing an iconic camera like the M6, I can't help but wonder if this is just an MP dressed up in M6 clothing. I mean, I know it's Halloween and everything, but come on! In this video, I'm going to talk about what this camera is, what it's not, and most importantly, whether or not I'm going to get one. So let's get into it. What the new Leica M6 is. Leica is the only manufacturer that's still making 35mm film cameras, so this is kind of a big deal. The camera itself is styled after the original M6 from 1984 with a few modern updates to the internals, so it's kind of the best of both worlds for someone who likes the idea of an M6 but really wants a brand new camera at the same time. There's a lot going on with the new M6, but here's a few things that really stand out for me. Number one, I like the sense of nostalgia that this camera evokes. The red dot says lights instead of Leica, just like the original from 1984. The Stoic Lights Wetzlar text along the top plate. The leatherette is stamped with Made in Germany on the back, just like the original. I mean, they even brought back the plastic boxes that all M6 cameras used to come in. I feel all warm and fuzzy when I look at this camera, and that's a good thing, because I'm old now, so feeling anything is important. I like that they've gone back to brass top and bottom plates. The old M6 used to use a zinc top and bottom or a zinc alloy top and bottom plate and the finish would bubble up and look like crap depending on humidity and a couple of other factors. So this is definitely a step in the right direction. I saw an interview with Andrea Pacelli. He's the director of global marketing for Leica. And he said that the brass top and bottom plates are actually lighter than the zinc versions. So I'm not sure if they're making them thinner or if it's some kind of new alloy that's a little bit lighter, but either way, I'm gonna count that as a positive because my MP weighs about as much as a small automobile, so every little bit helps. I like that the new M6 only comes in matte black and there's no plans for a silver version. According to Leica, if you want a silver version, they've got the MP and the MA already. The M6 is gonna be black for the foreseeable future anyways. This is the same scratch resistant finish that they have on the M11, and it's much better than black chrome, which I always just look dirty to me. So thumbs up on the new finish. I like the rapid rewind crank. My MP uses a knurled knob to rewind the film, and while I Yes, this is more durable because there's fewer moving parts. It takes 42 spins to rewind a roll of 36 exposures on this camera. And when you're on the street, that's an excruciatingly long amount of time. It seems to take forever. So the rapid rewind crank, Definitely a good thing. It's got the modern multi-coated viewfinder. It's the same one that's in the MP. The original M6 viewfinder would flare out in certain lighting situations, making the rangefinder patch impossible to use. And a lot of M6 users would upgrade their viewfinder to the MP viewfinder anyways, but now it's in there automatically, so good. And the new M6 also has the same light meter as the MP. You'll notice a difference when you look through the viewfinder. Now there's two arrows with a dot in the center. The arrows show you when you're one or more stops over or underexposed. An arrow plus the dot is half stop. The dot is the proper exposure, at least according to the meter. It's simple and effective, it gets the job done. So look, there's a lot to like here with this camera, but let's not fool ourselves. Leica didn't bring the M6 back from the dead. They didn't reboot and retool the assembly line using all original parts to create the camera exactly as it was 30 years ago. This is a replica of the M6 built on an MP body. The first clue is the complete lack of plastic strap bumpers. The new M6 has naked shoulders, just like any modern Leica camera, like the MP, the MA, the M11, the M10. In fact, let's just say it. This is just an MP dressed up to look like an M6, and I'm okay with that. It would be ridiculous if Leica cranked up the old assembly line and started pumping out M6s with the same tools and parts and designs that they used 30 years ago. The production line is already set up for the MP, which is largely a refined version of the M6 anyways. If they're gonna bring an M6 style camera back to market, it makes sense that they incorporate the updates and improvements that they added to the MP. I own an MP. I know exactly how reliable this camera is. And if the new M6 is based on the MP, then it's gonna be a solid performer. And if you throw in the classic M6 styling, then you've got a lustworthy camera that a lot of film shooters are gonna like. Heck, the rapid rewind crank alone is enough to make me want one. This kind of feels like the logical next step for Leica's film lineup. And I wouldn't be surprised if the MP eventually disappeared and the M6 became the standard film camera in the lineup. The MA would probably hang around as a throwback to the old Leicas with no meter and the knurled rewind knob, you know, for people that want to torture themselves. But it'll be interesting to see when and if Leica makes a change like that. Either way, I'm pretty glad I got my MP when I did. So am I gonna get a new M6? I can only think of one reason why I wouldn't get one. The Leica MP. This is my dream camera and I can't think of a compelling reason, apart from maybe the rewind crank, why I would make the switch to the M6. 
But I can say this, if I was in the market again and I didn't already have the MP and I went to the Leica store and they had an M6 2022 edition in stock, I can get it, looks great. But if I went to the same store and they had the M6 and a black paint MP, I'd still get the black paint MP. I just like it better. They both do the same thing, but I like the lack of forward-facing branding on the MP, plus the glossy black paint finish is kind of everything to me. This being said, I can see the M6 as being a compelling choice for a lot of Leica shooters, and it's great to see this iconic camera back in production again, even if it's an M6 in name only. So what's your take on all this? Are you shooting with an M6 now? You got a black or a silver one, or some weirdo special edition that I've never heard of? Are you tempted by the new M6? even a little. I love hearing what you guys have to say, so post a comment down below and keep that conversation going. And as always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and I'm so close, but there's still room for you, so hit that button. There's a ton of film and street photography videos coming up and I hate for you to miss any of them, but until then, I'm Carl Edwards and I'll see you in the next one. That's all.